Hello everyone, we're gonna make a transport system of minecarts with a chest in them. So it's an item transport um, for items going up to a higher level. So this is the unloading stations. Um, basically we have uh, one hopper. So everything in the minecart chest is going down to the hopper and another hopper this is quite important actually because you're gonna use this hopper uh, which is down there to we're gonna sense how many items there is in this hopper so when the minecart is empty this hopper will be empty and this um, uh, hopper will fill up to a level where the signal out from the comparator which is put um, with the output from the hopper so as soon as the uh, the hopper is full it will give off a signal and the signal is gonna be rerouted <laughs> let's see it's gonna be rerouted let's see if I can get through here no I can't so we're gonna jump over to the other one let's do this let's do this so okay <laughs> some fancy jumping there okay uh, so that signal is gonna go up to okay that signal is gonna go up to an inverter um, so that's basically it uh, when the inverter uh, when this signal when the comparator goes off uh, this signal will go on making this power rail on uh, and thus sending the minecart off so I built this a little bit different than other people on YouTube. Um, this block is for just stopping um, the minecart in place. Uh, this signal that comes from over here is coming from a detector rail. So when the detector rail is, when the cart is d detected, uh, it's also gonna give a signal to this uh, torch making a car stop so it's, uh, I will build this I will build this uh, for you in a, in a tutorial later on not today so the loading system is what it's more <laughs> more fancy we're gonna have a look at this one these two are identical but um, they are s slightly different builds okay so we're gonna have this signal from the detector rail going into uh, um, a repeater redstone repeater this re the redstone repeater acts as a diode so basically when any signal comes in you gotta give a full signal out so it's an, a diode and the signal which comes out from um, this repeater is gonna go down here these two signals are gonna compare and give an output signal here on the comparator so the output signal is going into this side of the AND gate and when anything when this uh, comparator is on this signal is going into the other side of this um, AND gate. We have an inverter on the AND gate, making it an AND gate, thus powering this uh, the, uh, power rail and sending the minecart off. I don't know why this has stopped. So it doesn't have any items going into it. So when it doesn't have any items going into it, um, this gonna this detector is gonna be completely off. So if I put some items in it, like so, 
it's gonna go on and sending off um, the minecarts. So on this side, we have exactly the same. Um, so we're gonna do like this. I'm gonna send it off because it was full. Uh, so you see now when when the detector rail was activated, this thing, this torch was turned off, so that the card can stop there. So the difference between this design and this design is that the AND gate is vertical. And that makes us be able to build this system very much easier. I'm gonna make a tutorial, so this is the tutorial area. Um, how to build this is real simple. The hardest thing I think is placing these hoppers. But anyways, the hoppers should be down. Uh, so th this outlet, the out from the hopper is down. Okay, and we're gonna have two hoppers gonna need two hoppers from the loading station because this comparator is measuring how much this hopper has in it. Now it is uh, full even though it's only one stack in five pieces um, because this uh, comparator is giving out an output signal that goes firstly down on one side of the AND gate and then up here, when this signal is lit, so when this signal is lit, this above hopper is going to turn off. So this is not going to, even though there are products in this, uh, if, if I put in something in there, nothing is going through, we have all our items left, and the cart, this will not fill up more. So, a redstone signal up here turns off this below hopper. So this um, comparator on, on that measured this hopper, which is slightly above, if we take away, let's see if we can see that, you see that redstone torch there? If we take away, like, five, it's gonna go on. Why did it go on? Didn't turn off. So how can I? Yeehaw. So we're gonna take away 64, I think. I'm gonna be able to see that. So we take away one stack. Now everything is off down here. So we're gonna fill up this with that. So we can see now that the redstone signal is here. It's gonna go up here. Now it's here. And when it comes up here... Did we put in enough? Let's... Uh, hmm. <laughs> what... Can we put in more? Something like Okay, so now the redstone signal has reached this point. As soon as it reaches here, it's gonna turn this hopper off. <coughs> Let's wait for that. It's not gonna take so long. So, now it's the hopper is off. The items in here have stopped going down. It should stop. Like, when? Ah, <laughs> so this chest is actually going right through this hopper down to this chest. So we should look in this sh this chest, and we can see that all the items above is actually going down here. So let's hurry this up. So now it has stopped because this hopper is locked doesn't let anything through because it has a signal here, a redstone signal here. So the next repeater is just amplifying this as soon as that has stopped letting items through. Um, the redstone signal is going out 
to this input of the vertical AND gate. The signal is then passing away, going away here. Oh, don't do that. So, going into an inverter. So, this inverter uh, making this whole standing AND gate an AND gate is going to power this rail and the cart, uh, minecart should be on its way. So, the detector rail is going up here. Uh, also, giving a signal into this inverter. So when a minecart comes in, it's going to turn off this power rail. So I'm not going to build this in this um, tutorial. I'm just going to show you how nice you can do it. Okay, so we're going to build a little bit here. Uh, don't do that. So, like so. And I'm going to jump over here. If I could jump. <laughs> oh. And block there. So, basically, what you will see above ground is this chest, which is really nice. You can cover all of this up. Everything. So, basically, we can turn this on. If we had a. Okay. Take a torch. Turn it on. Here we go. So the cart will go down, you cover this up, make this a smooth surface, and the cart should go back and forth, um, filling up here. And you can see that it works, it tries to fill up, couldn't do that. We have a, a very fast blip, uh, making because it goes away from this uh, detector rail. So if you want to isolate this, uh, you could do, yeah, there we have it, so, you could do um, a redstone repeater there, make it, this is the diode, so any signal coming in from here, uh, it's not gonna go any further, so you can do it like that, so, okay, your OR, this is an OR gate, a simple one, so that's it. Um, this is the really nice version. <laughs> so I basically what I do here is fill up these chests. They unload up there and go down here and reload again. All these hoppers is taking items that has been unloaded and carrying down here to to now the loading area. So basically we're gonna have a quick look on the unloading thing here. So basically you have a block that stops the cart, an inverter. The inverter is going down here to the comparator. So this is a redstone repeater just to amplify the signal so you can take that away if you want. Uh, the output signal from the comparator is measuring how much this um, hopper has in it as soon as the signal um, is off making the cart go away because I had an inverter here so the inverter is gonna invert this signal so it's off now as soon as this is uh, this hopper is has uh, yeah, well, it seemed to have stopped. Okay, <laughs> so this is crazy. Uh, the hoppers doesn't seem to work anymore. So we're gonna take away some items here. So now the output signal is still on gonna do it now it's off so it's gonna send off this power rail that's above this hopper is gonna be sent off uh, making the minecart uh, go away so all these items should be going away in these hoppers but this system is completely okay it 
it's working, but man, okay. Uh, <laughs> I, we, I had an update, um, and the update uh, was a little bit, I think it might have infected the hoppers. So basically what you do is when your cart comes into the station, uh, you're going to build a block behind the cart that stops the cart. What you do is stand on this block and voila, you have your hopper down. So this hopper, we're going to measure how much is coming out from this. So you have to stand up here and place a comparator that goes out from this hopper. So this is the output. As this is the output uh, on the repeater diode. Okay. So and on top of this you build a rail. Powered rail. Crouch place. Okay. And the very nice inverter is gonna go there with the redstone torch. Whoops. There. So this is gonna power this rail. Nope. So we're gonna have to build it one block higher. No. <laughs> I'm thinking wrong. So the my card is gonna come in here. This torch is gonna be there powering this rail. No. I'm I'm thinking all wrong. So I'm not gonna confuse you anymore. This is the filling up station. You have two hoppers above it. The unloading station you're gonna need to have block there the redstone torch <laughs> is gonna have to go right there powering this rail so this is the unloading station so instead of this you should have a chest like that so and everything is the cart uh, unloads into this hopper uh, it's gonna go down to, into this chest <coughs> so basically you're gonna uh, wanna unload what comes down in this chest but if this chest is full this hopper is full <laughs> this is always gonna be off when you measure this with your comparator so guys I uh, hope you enjoyed the um, tutorial. Just made a big hole <laughs> in my in my tutorial survival world. So down here we have a big uh, warehouse. Uh, this big warehouse is where I actually keep all my stuff. Okay. Okay, so later on if you subscribe I will make a tutorial about exactly how to build this. Um, I'm not gonna build this for you, I'm just gonna build this vertical one and uh, one un unloading station complete. Great. I'm gonna fix up my house here. <laughs> okay, have fun, subscribe. Uh, when I come out with more more tutorials, which I have made myself, because um, this uh, thing doesn't exist. There are hoppers with with uh, a lot of redstone uh, and um, torches. Uh, torches will, will go up like this one, but that doesn't work. I've tried it out, and and for different items, it stops. It just clogs up and this is because the the redstone has a delay which make this not work so so all the um, item transports up with um, 
redstone torches activating some kind of of uh, dispenser or or just uh, hoppers that which turn off and on uh, doesn't work and this one works uh, it's really reliable uh, the only thing is uh, if you are transporting all this uh, uh, mine cars a really long way the mine cars can stop and go in a different way so I don't know if you have built a lot of rails uh, and going uh, going uh, on the rail um, <laughs> once in a while there will be a cow on the rail and uh, your you will go backwards from where you came and and uh, so if you're gonna build this build it a few storage up uh, like too high or something like that that will make all the cows and, and pigs and, <laughs> and zombies and everything not standing on the tracks making the minecarts go back and forth like this one is doing so imagine if if this um, my card meets something and will go back on so th this is the big drawback I've also uh, observed that if a minecart is going to the other side of the world that side is not gonna be processed uh, by my Minecraft Xbox One edition at least so um, you have to once in a while clear the tracks uh, you're gonna do that anyway because uh, you're gonna visit the unloading box <laughs> and the loading box sometimes, uh, sometime. Uh, and uh, that on that uh, note, <laughs> I will leave you. Uh, we have a lot of tutorials to do. I've prepared a lot of them. Uh, we have uh, latches, uh, delays. Um, set reset circuits um, uh, what else um, of course uh, a storage system uh, which is uh, really cool you can have all your things uh, mine are is a bit different than anyone else's I have uh, you can see that uh, I have three uh, redstones in a row and uh, that's different from all the other uh, contracts. This makes it a stable uh, circuit. I had a lot of problems uh, with my last one because I had a waterfall above uh, <laughs> and this waterfall made um, the redstone yeah, simply not functioning accurately. So I removed the waterfall and bada bing it worked. But at that time my world was so lagging and so different um, that I had to move it. So I moved it up in the sky and uh, I moved it so I'm gonna push that cart. Okay. So that cart has been stuck. I don't know if you can see, but it, my world is really lagging up here. So I built my new warehouse on a jungle biome. So this jungle biome has a, it it uh, doesn't lag so much over a jungle biome. So build it up on a jungle biome, and you will uh, not have lag or anything like this. You don't have to build it as high as I have done. I built it up here because I want the clouds to go inside my warehouse. It's, it gives it a nice. Uh, funny thing <laughs> so basically um, we're gonna get to my old warehouse which is right down here so this made my world really laggy now when I removed it it's really going super so I don't have anything to unload I promise you so so gonna wait with that we're gonna clear that track later on so my world is actually not lagging at all and this is really nice so when it is like this I love it and it became like this because I removed all this all this was removed and 
the waterfall is up there and it's turned off now we have some water down here still we try to build the car but it's totally ruined now um, anyways it was nice so it should run really fast jumping hi oh yeah subscribe will give you a lot of things um, this is also an item transport uh, up really high I, I've I, this is really uh, nice to look at but um, I feel really unsecure sending my dear stuff in this tube all the way up sending them in chests uh, I, I feel this is gonna work so this is uh, an item transport up for hoppers and and uh, uh, dispensers so this is what does not work it is yeah so I built my barbecue here which uses that thing so if, if we get some uh, steak and we throw it on the barbecue like that we're gonna have some steak after a while maybe so come on come on give me a steak give me a steak yeah here I come ready to party okay so <laughs> yeah uh, until the next time subscribe because uh, if I do a new tutorial you will know something more I have built a really cool items uh, iron golem farm uh, which is not big at all you build it in two hours it works you get one iron golem every ten minutes I think um, and, and it's not a, not an efficient thing uh, it's just fun to have iron golems in your world and it also I have a village breeding farm above uh, this iron golem so you don't have to uh, transport many uh, farm uh, p uh, village people uh, up there just a farmer uh, uh, and some other guy and they will start to breed which is really nice and, and, and funny to look at uh, small babies and they grow up I have about uh, let's see 32 villagers now and uh, they are still they are still doing it so when I get back up there maybe I have 35 I don't know you will see I definitely have uh, three or four maybe two maybe two iron golems 